Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're going to build the LEGO City ATV Race Team. This is set number 60148. 239 pieces, and it looks like we have a couple ATVs, some accessories for the ATVs, and then a cool little sports pickup truck that will be hauling that trailer. So, looks like our standard vehicle type Lego City set. So let's point this down a bit, see what we have in here. Alright, so we have a small sticker sheet, kind of folded and bend it up a little bit. We have an instruction book number two that's folded in half. It's actually a really thick instruction book. And then a really thin instruction book number one that's also kind of rolled in half. There's some loose plates. And then we have three numbered bags. We have a bag three, a bag two, and a bag number one. So we'll go ahead and begin with bag one. And we'll also begin with instruction book number one. So the first thing we've got is a couple minifigures. This is a pretty cool little figure. It's a sports jacket. And it's a female jacket. And you can usually tell when it's a female torso because they have the little thin waist, those little printed indentations on the side to indicate a thinner waist of a female. So she has a single printed face kind of this concentrated smile. So you got two options with her. She comes with a hairpiece that you could put on, or when she's riding the ATV, you have the safety helmet on. So that's pretty cool that they give you the hair and the helmet option. Next one is this minifigure, it's the, the male figure, and similar to the female, he has a couple options. He's got a baseball hat, or you can put on a helmet, which is, why am I not seeing it? It's, oh, because it was under my hand. Get the red helmet. So let's go ahead and leave him with the baseball hat on and her with the helmet. Let's see, he can also hold on to the wrench. The wrench is really just an accessory for both of them. It's just part of the set. The instructions show him holding it, but the box artwork shows her holding it. So you be the judge on who gets to hold the wrench. Right, this is a fuel tank. It's a standard Lego Octon fuel colors there. Okay, so next we have our first little ATV that we're going to make. And these are going to be very simple little builds. Bracket, trans red plates, some cheese slopes. We have a fender piece that'll go there. Trans yellow front headlight. Plate with a clip, and we have this double wide bow shape, which will get a sticker. Sticker number three. Goes there. Gives us a nice decoration. Some handlebars. And there are four wheels and tires. Right. 
that's our first ATV. They're very, very simple little builds. And I'm going to go ahead and put the wheels and tires together for the next one. Because we know that they're going to go on there. So, we'll quickly build this one. This one is pretty much the identical build as the first one. It's just a different color scheme. and tires and then we have a sticker to put on there. Let me go ahead and get these on. And I jumped. I actually wasn't even following the instructions. I was just going off of the pieces that I had on the table. Okay, sticker right there. And there's our second ATV. Alright, so that completes this tiny little instruction book number one. You can see that's everything we have. So, we are moving on to instruction book number two and bag number two right now. Okay, we have everything for bag two dumped out, and this looks like it's going to begin the truck portion of the build. So we take one of these long plates that were loose in the box, start adding some plates to it. This will create the truck chassis. with the little rail on the end. Before I was ready for it, let me grab a brick separator. Pop that off. I actually needed a plate there first, and then that plate there. Now we have two brackets, and we have some tiles back here. This tan. 2x4 tile used to be pretty rare until the Lego Ideas maze came out. And it came with, I think, 50 or 60 of those tiles in that set. And I've noticed we're starting to see that color tile in a lot more sets since that maze set came out. Tan part looks like the the back end of the truck or the the bed area. Couple bricks with studs on the end. 
couple of one by six plates and one by one tiles. going to get sticker number one it says four by four and there's a white stripe on the top and it's going to kind of line up with the white plates going across the bodywork so we carry that color scheme all the way across a couple of Red tail lights. We'll turn this around. and this is the same design as on the other side we'll make sure that white lines up at the top we're good there the front headlights and grill so we'll have these trans clear slopes on both sides black slope double wide black cheese slope and then this will get a license plate sticker on this one. It's a small sticker, but it's fairly easy to put on. And we have our slotted tiles that will represent the grill area. Simply pop that on right there. completes bag two so you can see the shape of the truck is coming together so let's go ahead and move on to our third and final bag right now okay we have all of our bag three parts dumped out and we're going to finish up the, the truck move on to the trailer we should be pretty close to being complete black one by one tiles there and these two by two mini wedge plates both go there Pull up one by threes, and we have this plate with the bar on it. Have a rear windscreen, and then a front windscreen, which is bigger. Two of these sloped 
bricks next to the rear one. And these little tiles with clips will represent the rear view mirrors. Alright, we have this hinged brick, which for some reason is being used as a 1x4. So we're going to put a tile on there. Once you put that tile on there, it locks the hinge. It doesn't hinge anymore. Oh, let's see why we're using this. So this will go here. We have our roof of the truck. This will get a sticker that says sport on it. Four of these trans yellow studs on here. And then this pop on right there. So that little knob right there that sticks out from that hinged plate is what the back side of the roof is actually laying against. So that's why they use the hinge plate just to give us a little notch. And the, the hood portion of the truck has some decoration on it. We have our four wheels and tires, which I took the liberty of putting those together when I opened them out of the bag. Okay, so there is the bulk of the truck. Next we have, looks like some ramp pieces. These are using another newer piece. It is a 2 by 3 tile. The 2 by 3 tile came out, I believe, in the Caterham Lego Idea set. And we're starting to see more and more sets include this tile. This one happens to be in the they call brick yellow or what the name on the street of it is tan but the official lego color is called brick yellow so that creates the little ramps that can fold down and i guess you can roll up one of your atvs in there okay move that to the side now we have the trailer to build oh and that hood sticker did use the last of the stickers so we are done with the stickers there really weren't that many stickers in this set anyway so it didn't take much to get through those and the set is not super big as well so we are almost done with it so it makes sense that we recently used the last sticker we have some plates with little axle pieces on it. Larger plate. We have a wedge plate. Doing this toe ball piece. Two long plates there. Slotted tile. Two by two tiles. There and there, one more tile there.
far piece clipped on there and then these flag pieces will clip on and that will make the um, there we go little ramp pieces for the trailer so it has some small wheels and tires that go on there and then this plate with a bar on it. We have a spare tire for the ATVs that will go there. And then this little bar with a clip acts as the stand to hold the trailer up. Okay, so how does this work? Wait a minute. How do I have an extra one of these? They gave me an extra one. That's weird. So, in the part call out of this set, you can see there's the long plate and it says 2X. So, I used two and there were three in the box. So, I have an extra one of these. Okay, so the ATV can roll up this ramp. You can pop the little flaps up the trailer. Simply hitches on right there. But before we do that, let's roll the other ATV up in there. So you can see that ATV fits perfectly in there. Pop that on there. We have our fuel tank that we can attach to the trailer back here. We have a wrench. I'll pop on there. The helmets, not sure what they do with those. And then the truck, unfortunately, is a single seater. So, sorry ma'am, you're out of a seat. It's one of the slight design flaws with the small Lego City vehicles is the, uh, um, the vehicles usually can only fit one person or if they could fit multiple people they're usually um back to back like the the van and caravan set that came out last year it's a cool looking set it's nicely proportioned but the people have to sit one behind each other versus side by side so anyway kind of rambling about other sets and not this one that's it for this one thanks for watching tell me your thoughts put a comment down below this is actually a really cool little set. Um, I think this set retails for $20 to $25. It's kind of in that, that wheelhouse price range of, of good Lego City sets that you, know, you can either buy with your own money or you know, parents or grandparents can give as gifts to, to kids. So tell me your thoughts. Put a comment down below. Check out my other Lego City videos. There's going to be a link down there for all of those. So don't forget to hit that link and we'll see you in the next one.